the end of the first week of July, so I've had a week. This is an extra long month though, so even though I got about a quarter of the way through word count wise, I'm actually ahead of schedule because I get extra days this month, so that's awesome. It's been a little bit of a weird week because I decided to write my novel longhand this month. So that has had some unexpected upsides and downsides. It feels like it takes a lot longer to actually write it. Even though I'm not sure it really does, it feels longer and that can be a little frustrating. It's actually more fun uh, for me. I just There's something about writing on paper. I don't know, it's like a lot more fun. I feel more like I'm writing and less like I'm not writing. I'm really enjoying that part of it. The story itself, the plot's kind of a mess, but my plots usually are, because I only kind of do like a very, very rough outline, pretty much my outline's just in my head. So when it comes to putting it all on paper, it can be messy stringing it all together. I like the characters I'm writing so far, and I like the setting. I still like what I'm writing, and I'm still having fun writing it, and it's it's going well for the most part. I don't think I've been writing this much, because this is mostly just a ton of blank paper. I've written about this much in the last week. I'm pretty pleased, pretty proud of myself. I write in cursive because apparently a lot of people my age can't read cursive, so it's like writing in a foreign language. People can't read over my shoulder, which I, as a very private, about my writing kind of person, I'm kind of happy about. <laughs> if you don't want your younger siblings to read what you're writing, I highly recommend learning cursive. Question for the audience for the week? Um, you know, there's always the good old, who's your favorite author, which I feel like is kind of a cheaty question to ask because I don't have one. I'm going to say right now my favorite author is Nettie Okorafor, and if you don't know who she is, you should definitely check out some of her writing, because it's really, really light, fun, Nigerian-American fantasy, and it's amazing. I really, really loved Akata Witch. Shoutouts! For Levi, who's writing this month sort of alongside me, We Hard Nerds, of course, and Camp NaNoWriMo, which is amazing. And if you find me on there, you can go to my fundraiser page, raising money for the Office of Letters of Light, which is awesome. I guess that's it. I'm trying to muster up some energy here. It's fine. I'm starting to get tired. Oh my god. I don't want to seem like I don't give any sh** on my own vlog. <laughs> it's not like breaking a mirror though, right? Like breaking a chair isn't... Twice. Seven years of bad luck. Right? No, it's like seven minutes of pure shame, though. <laughs>